In the previous video, we discussed about the bone remodeling process. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the rankle rank OPG pathway, which is basically the signaling pathway for bone modeling and remodeling process of bone formation. First of all, let's see three important proteins or factors that we are going to see in the signaling pathway. First is the RANKL. Second is the RANK. And third one is the OPG. The rankle is the receptor activator of nuclear factor kappa B ligand and is expressed by osteoblasts. Here in this diagram, we can see the membrane of osteoblast expressing a trimer of rankle proteins. This rankle is actually the ligand that will bind towards its receptor. Then we have the rank RANK that's receptor activator of nuclear factor kappa B and it's expressed by osteoclast precursor cells like monocytes. Here in this diagram, we can see the rank trimer of pre-osteoclast and this starts the pathway when rank ligand binds with the rank trimer. And then we have the OPG that's osteoprotagonin protein. This protein binds rankle and inhibits its activity. And that's why it's the negative regulator of bone remodeling process. Now let's start the signaling pathway in detail. Here in this diagram, we have the osteoblast expressing the rankle trimer. And then to it, the osteoclast precursor cell comes in and binds with the rankle of osteoblast. And it's the rank protein of precursor osteoclast cell that interacts with the rankle. Now within the precursor cell, the signaling is mediated. First of all, TRAF6 and SRC are recruited within the cell and that mediates the downward signaling. The TRAF6 activates the JNK, the JNK in turn activates the CFOS and CJUNE and ultimately these CFOS and CJUNE activates the NF80C1 protein. This is the nuclear factor of activated T cell cytoplasmic 1. This NF80 is the transcriptional factor and is transported to the nucleus where it binds the DNA molecule to drive the transcription of genes involved in the differentiation of osteoclast. Then we have the second pathway where TRAF6 activates the P38 protein which is the mitogen activated protein kinase. After the activation of P38, it goes towards the nucleus where it phosphorylates and activates the MITF protein which in turn then binds with the DNA to drive the expression of osteoclast differentiation factors. We also see TRAF6 activates the IKK protein, which in turn activates the NFKB pathway that also leads to the osteoclast differentiation. That is the part of bone remodeling process. Furthermore, TRAF6 SRC downregulates the MEK and ERK which also leads to activation of transcription factors that drives the osteoclast differentiation. And finally, we also see crosstalking of pathways here in the form of PI3K activation, which in turn activates the AKT and this AKT activates the mTOR C1 and this pathway is for cell survival and growth. So this is how rankle rank OPG signaling pathway drives the osteoclast differentiation in the bone remodeling process. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.